all these demons of witchcraft and your family. The folk working against you, having nightmares and surrounded. The devil trying to distract you to keep your mind off Jesus. Because the devil knows that God is coming back. God can come back right now. Come on now. I want to be ready. I can die today. I want my soul to be saved. I don't want to go to no hell. I have enough hell here on earth. I'm determined to walk with Jesus. On the day of my birthday, the devil tried to kill me. He said this demonic seven feet giant. He attacked me. He tried to kill me on my birthday right downtown. Right there after I preached. And the man said he wanted to, he don't even know me. But the devil is mad. And God gave me so much speed, I dodged him out. Took that sword, began to swing it like David. Overcame that big old giant. The attack had to get back. Praise God. Because when you're doing something for God, the enemy wants to kill you. But he couldn't do it. Because God put a hedge. God put a hedge of protection. I began to preach the word, souls started coming to Christ. God made that demon get back. Folk many times had threatened me. Said, we're going to do this to you and do that to you. And I said, yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death. I would fear no evil because God is with me. They tried to kill Jesus. But he arose from the dead the third day morning. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have no fear. Jesus is here. Tell someone, have no fear. Jesus is here. The tax is going to get back in your life. But you got to stay in the word. You got to stay in prayer. How did my high most my high most And once your mind is focused on the Lord, and you stay in your word and put on the whole arm of God huh, to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The devil cannot get to your mind. Because the devil wants to attack that mind. He knows he can get your mind, he can get your spirit. He knows he can get your spirit. He can have your body. The devil's not satisfied with just oppressing your mind. He wants to possess your body. He wants to live in your body. But the, but the devil cannot get there. Why? God is there. Because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The devil don't want us to live holy. A lot of churches don't want to live holy. That's why God allows a lot of churches to shut down. Why? Many have been praying church, but the ones who are real for God is still having church. Oops. Ain't like we have in church right now. Ain't that the truth? There should be more preachers out here preaching the gospel. Thank you. They should be packing the projects. You know they say, well, I'm not getting no paycheck, check, so they want to stay home. Because they ain't for the money. They ain't for the paycheck. check. But like I always say, this preacher, you ain't got the hate. I ain't got no collection place. <laughs> I don't mind giving money to a real man of God and a real church because we know it takes money for ministry. But I don't want to give money to a false prophet. Praise God. There should be churches packing the street and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and winning the souls for Christ. But because the churches have gotten discouraged because of the attacks. Hallelujah. Praise God. The lamb has backslid. They got discouraged. But God said, be encouraged. God said he wants to also warn you about false prophets. Even these seven day of Venice church. You heard of the seven day of Venice? Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you who started that church. Now I'm going to go into some teaching now. There's a teaching side of me coming out now. We're going to talk about these seven day of Venice church. Because the devil used prophets to try to uh, deceive us. The devil put false prophets out here. They're preaching the Bible, but they're not living the Bible. The devil knows the Bible better than we do. But he don't live it. Why? Because God said he's a liar. He's a father of lies. And the truth is not in him. The devil put many false prophets out here. There was a woman named Ellen White. Ellen White was her name who started the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Ellen White told the world that Jesus told her when she was going to come back. When he was going to come back. Nobody knows when Jesus Christ is coming back. Not even the angels even know. But she said that Jesus Christ was going to come back on a certain date. <laughs> it's happened way back in the 1800s. Told the world Christ is going to come back on a certain date. So when that date came, folk stand up there waiting for Christ to come. All in the cold. Christ never came. They froze to death. 
control the world. Now, you know what she did? Instead of her asking God forgiveness for lying on God, you know what she told the world? She said, it was Jesus who made the mistake not coming. That was blasphemy right there. Instead of her saying, Lord, I repent. Lord, forgive me. She said, Jesus was the one who made a mistake. They know God don't make a mistake. So this is how the seventh day of Venice started. It started with Ellen White, a false prophetess. A lot of don't know that. So that's something I'm going to teach you. Ellen White is her name. So these seven day of Venice churches who followed Ellen White, Ellen White was a false prophet. At least William Miller, there was a man named William Miller who worked along with Ellen White. But at least he had some sense. He repented. Ellen White didn't repent. She said, God made a mistake not coming. Nobody knows when Jesus Christ is coming. Amen. Nobody knows the day and hour that he's coming. You say, I'm coming at an hour that you think not. And if somebody texts you, you let them know. Listen, I'm in the service. Praise God. Praise God. Because the enemy, what he wants to do is distract you by getting you to hear these false prophets. Ellen White, write your name. You know how to spell I can spell it for you. Right, E L L E N. And you know how to spell white. Seven day Adventist Church, right? Her name was Ellen White. And you can look it up. She started that seven day Adventist. And she lied and told the world that God told her when he's coming back. Nine angels know when he's coming back. So how's she going to know? <laughs> and that's something. And wrote a book on it. So she said, God was going to come back at a certain date. So she had all the crowds standing outside looking at heaven, waiting for Christ to come back. And they in the cold and they froze to death. Christ never came back. <laughs> and instead of her asking God forgiveness, she said Christ made the mistake. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? These are attacks. So the devil works through deception. The Bible said my people are destroyed because of what? Lack of knowledge. Let's go to Hosea chapter number four, verse six. I praise God you're here. Are we having a good time? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah.